Director Kendra, university faculty and staff, honored guests, fellow graduates, family, and friends. I am a phoenix. One might ask, what do those words mean with an anticipation that the following discussion will elaborate on a mythical bird rising from the ashes? Or a story may follow about how one overcame their adversity and, like a phoenix, rose above their despair to manifest an innermost strength. In this conversation of I am a phoenix, however, the phoenix is only one word of the discussion because it is the first two words that are the most important. It is the I am that has the power. It is the I am that sets the course. It is the I am that drives one to success. When you say I am, you cause whatever words you say next to become true in your life. For me, in the first 30 years of my life, I said, I am not a reader. It wasn't for my ability to look at words on a page and formulate a thought. It was the self-limiting words that followed my I am. Because for those three decades, not only did I say, I am not a reader, I said, I hate to read, and I could not read. And therefore, except for necessity, I did not read. Today is my 52nd birthday, and I stand before you because a woman caused me to change the words that followed my I am. She gave me a book, a paperback novel, as a gift for my 30th birthday. My heart cringed. I'm not going to read this book. I hate to read. I am not a reader. There are no pictures. But out of fear that she may one day ask me about the story, and so as not to be embarrassed, I reluctantly began that book. Elena knew me well, because the book she had selected for me had me visualizing its story from the very start. By page four, I was no longer reading word after agonizing word, rather a story played off the pages before me. I finished that book in no time, adding power to my I am's. I am glad I read this book. I am going to read another. And I began to replace all of my self-limiting I am's with self-empowering I am's. At first, they were simply, I am a reader. And then, in fact, I am a voracious reader. Eventually, I became quite the discerning reader, saying things like, even I am able to write a better book than this. So how did the next 22 years of these new and powerful I am's influence my life? After the first 10 years, I wrote and published a novel and spoke to at-risk children about overcoming their fears of reading. A decade after that, I entered this university where my Gen 200 facilitator, Dr. Gormley, inspired me with yet a new set of I am's. I am a collegiate level student. I am able to work with my learning teams. I am going to graduate. As Phoenix students, we learn to lead as well as to follow. Sometimes I pushed my teammates along. Other times they pulled me through. In the end, we became friends, colleagues, each helping the other achieve an innermost I am. Today, I am a college graduate having completed a task that has eluded me most of my life. Quite possibly, I am are the most powerful words one could say. The greatest book of antiquity has several passages professing the power of I am. It is no accident that the motto of this university begins with I am. Use your Phoenix experience, therefore, as a spark to ignite the flame of a new I am, and in doing so, burn with the desire to inspire yourself and those around you to rise from their ashes. Because you have the power to choose the words that follow your I am. What words will you choose? Today, you can shout them proudly, I am a phoenix. Tomorrow, you can breathe a great sigh of relief. I am so glad it's over. But when you wake up Monday morning, what words will you choose to follow your I am? 
Will they be so routine that you look at yourself in the mirror and say the familiar, I am so tired, and cause fatigue and unrest as you start your day? Or as a Phoenix graduate, wouldn't you rather say, I am becoming energized and rise above your morning challenges and create energy and excitement throughout your day? Create your dreams. I am a great teacher. Create your passion. I am a registered nurse. Create your future. I am a successful businessman. You are the author of your own I am. What words will you write? I leave you, therefore, with this consideration, a challenge, if you will. Command the power of your own I am. Choose words that will define your future. Choose words that will inspire you to greatness. Choose words that will lift your spirit, like a phoenix that has risen from the ashes. Congratulations, class of 2011. Rise with me now. Rise with me now and shout, I am a phoenix.